We want to talk to you about the dangers of having a fireplace or a wood stove, and that is the potential for chimney fires. And we're going to share with you one way to shut down a chimney fire within 22 seconds or less. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead, and today I'm here with, once again, my good friend, Frank Cohen. Good and, to see you again, Chad. And thank you for being with us. And I know the reason I'm having Frank share this because he's actually had this exact problem. And, but first of all, let's ask the question, why would someone maybe potentially have a fire in their chimney? Well, there's creosote. And creosote is just a byproduct of the, having the fire. What happens is that that fire is burning hot, that smoke, that hot smoke rises up the chimney. It's drafted out, usually the, based on the design of the chimney. But the chimney pipe itself is colder. So as the smoke rises up, that those particles, the particulate, uh, precipitates on the side of the chimney, begins to build up on the side. That's why you want to have your chimney cleaned uh, once in a while. Even burning good wood, you'll see that. Yeah. But, but that's what happens. You get a buildup of this soot, if you will, on the side of the chimney. Yeah, and you know, this is, this is something that actually, because if you have, you're, obviously generally you don't want a fire in the chimney itself, because now in a situation like this, if you have enough stone, you might be okay, but if there's any kind of combustible material just behind that, if your chimney isn't thick enough, if it's a standard, let's say in my situation, you have a standard chimney pipe that goes up through the ceiling, and if you had a fire going in there for some time in, that, in, in the pipe from the stove for long enough, it could potentially ignite the house yeah. on fire. Yeah. And I know you actually had this happen, yeah. at least you had a chimney fire. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what happened and, and then what you ended up doing about it? Well, I was, this was in Michigan. I, and it was a small farm town in Michigan. I had this 140 or 50 year old farmhouse and it was two story and it had a really sharp pitch on the roof. It was a really difficult roof. And, and the only way we heated was wood. And it was a big wood stove in the main part of the house downstairs. And it was, a, um, it was winter time and, and we actually were experiencing a major blizzard. Mm. And the snow was just blowing sideways. And it was heavy snow too. And so we had the chimney cap and around the chimney cap is a screen and that obviously keeps critters out from coming in. But what happened was that snow built up on the, on the leeward side of the chimney and it started blowing the air directly down into the chimney. And then when they had drafted back out, it was like this, it, it's like if you take a fire and the fire starts to go out and people put lighter fluid on it and there's all that smoke coming up. Then when you throw the match in it, it just burst into flames. And that's what happened with this. It just burst into flames and we could hear it. It was like a tornado is what it sounded like, like a train as that whooshing of fire uh, was coming out. And I ran outside uh, the house and the, it's just a blinding blizzard. It's a whiteout. I couldn't get up on the roof. Even if in, in the most ideal of conditions, I don't think I could have climbed that peakedness of the roof wow. without ropes. And I looked and there was fire blowing out of the chimney. Right out the top? Right out the top, wow. yeah. And it, so I'm guessing, I mean, immediately you're thinking, what do I do? What do I do? Now, had you heard of chimney fires before that? Oh yeah, I knew about chimney fires, but I didn't have a fire extinguisher. And sometimes on the, on the wood stoves, if you have the damper, you can close the damper and it robs the oxygen from the fire. Makes but sense. Didn't have it. Yeah, not every chimney is going to have that, whether it's on, you know, either one of these situations, whether fireplace or wood stove. So I did what I could do. I grabbed my 12 gauge shotgun <laughs> and I ran outside and it took me two or three shots and I blew the cap off the chimney. And, You're and just shooting at it. Just shooting at it, right? <laughs> just trying to figure out a way to get the cap off because yeah. that snow is building up now and the flames are coming out. and and it blew the cap off the chimney <laughs> and, and it just sort of extinguished itself. Really? It just blew by itself blowing off. the yep. top of it off yep. there. So it just drafted out and that was the end. So this is a technique you had heard, <laughs> heard about in the past, right? No, no. <laughs> I had no idea what else to do. I wow. just thought, I'm just gonna shoot at the chimney and hope that somehow. <laughs> I think it's miraculous that it worked. It I mean... was a miraculous that it worked and I don't understand all of the physics behind it. But somebody tried to explain to me that when that happened, that the, the wind was no longer being captured under the chimney. So there was no more of a draft anymore. Okay. And without the draft, the fire just settled in. Okay. 
And someone might be thinking, is this what you're making us watch this video for, to tell you to shoot your chimney? No, and uh, it took more than 22 <laughs> seconds. Let me tell you. And this is not what we're talking about. We're talking about a, a standardized way that has been tested and can in most situations within less than 22 seconds put it up. So, but I'm happy that it worked out for you. Did you have any damage other than the, the top of your well, We couldn't find it until the snow <laughs> melted because we got another eight inches of snow and, and you know, you get the snow down in the cap and then the fire stove gets wet. It, was not, it wasn't the smartest thing to do, but <laughs> You know, desperate times call for desperate right. situations, yeah, you know, you, desperate actions. Yeah, so. you do what you can you at, what you at, can. at that time. <laughs> but I want to show you another way that for like 25 bucks, you can buy this little simple thing and it can actually put out the fire in your fireplace or in your wood stove. So here it is. This is something called Chimfex. And Chimfex, I mean, it just says right on it, protect your home from chimney fires, extinguish, extinguishes chimney fires in seconds, used by professional firefighters nationwide, uh, proven effective over 40 years, and it's made in the United States. Now, Chad America. gave this to me after I told him the story because I got a 12 gauge still, <laughs> and he figured, well, let's do something proactive to keep him from shooting this chimney cap off. And, and we don't know if it worked the second time. Yeah, you know, I have no idea. It worked once, but <laughs> I, I'm not gonna guarantee that the 12 gauge method is gonna work <laughs> another time. Yep. So basically, we're gonna open this up and just give you a little idea of how this works. So you, you buy this box somewhere around $25. And here's the thing, by the way, you might be thinking, ah, another thing for my, my wood stove, another thing for my fireplace. Here's the thing. 25 bucks is very cheap insurance. It is. Obviously, Frank's hoping never to have to use this. Typically, if you have, someone might be thinking, why don't you just have your chimney um, clean? Well, okay, we get it. But the point is, who knows? That's right. You just never know what's gonna happen. And 25 bucks is very cheap insurance to keep your house from potentially burning down. So, um, Immediately looking at it, it reminds me of- what, It looks like a road flare. Yeah, that's a, the very first thought I yep. had in, in my head is this looks like a road flare. So what you end up doing, it comes in a little uh, bag here, Ziploc bag, and something that looks just like a road flare. You pull it out, and actually the technique is similar yeah. to a road flare, if I can get it out of the bag here. And what you actually do, I think you, you simply take this off, and I don't know if I want to do it, but uh, just because I don't well, know. Well, you can actually, it'll go back on. Oh, okay. You, you, you can you try you, it? Go for yeah, it. Yeah, you can pop this part of it off, and then what you do is you pop the cap, and what the cap has underneath it, if I can get the cap off. There you go. Is you, it has a striker, and you strike it. Just like a normal road just flare. Just like a normal road yeah. flare, and you throw it into the fire. Yes, and then once you throw it into the fire, you want to shut the doors. That's right. Because what's going to happen, obviously? It's going to eat all the oxygen up, and it's going to put the fire out. Yeah, so this is a super simple method. You can actually watch some videos on people doing this. So if you had a situation where you had a fire going, uh, we're not going to waste it. Um, 25 bucks wouldn't be that much for a video. But at this point, uh, <laughs> this, this is something that you could <clears throat> simply do. And you may literally, you could either save, uh, probably more likely you could save your house than your family. I mean, if, if your house were burning down, run outside. I mean, don't, right. don't die to save your house. I mean, houses can be replaced your family can't. And so, but in these situations, how nice it would be to have something like this. Uh, you know, we gave this to Frank. He's just setting it by the, the fireplace here. And at any time where it happened, all he needs to do is do this. And they claim that within 22 seconds, yep. it's gonna burn up all of the oxygen. And obviously you need oxygen for a fire. Once that oxygen is burned out, you'll still get smoke out the top for a time, but the fire itself should actually stop at that point. And then you know, you better get your fireplace, uh, yeah. you better have that thing cleaned out yeah, at that point. Yeah, yeah, sure. So any other thoughts before we close, Frank? Just make sure that you're as proactive as possible. Chimney fires are scary because once that thing starts, it sucks that air through there and it sounds just like a tornado. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, can and imagine. it super heats, that's the problem. And it can, it can damage the chimney pipe itself. And the last thing I wanna be doing right now is trying to replace a chimney pipe on an existing structure. So yeah, I, I, so yeah get the chimney cleaned once every couple of years, depending on how much. And if you're in colder areas, it's even worse because mm. the soot buildup is worse the colder it is. Wow, wow. And so these are some, some things to think about and you wanna be safe. And the other thing is, 
I, I, some people simply don't have house and home insurance. I yep. mean, you should have it if you can get it. But there are situations, I understand, where people just can't get it. Maybe there's something wrong with their house or something, so they won't give you home insurance. So 25 bucks is about as cheap insurance as you could possibly get. So check out Chimfax. I'll have a link down below. Uh, they haven't paid me to, to do this. I just thought it just seems like a great product. It's worth a try. Check that out below. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. God bless and have a fantastic day. And thank you, Frank, once Thanks again, again for helping me out. My pleasure. All right. Have a great night. All right. Bye.